What is going on guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be comparing the iPhone 12 versus the SE2 for 2021. Now the 12 is an awesome phone. It's actually one of my favorite iPhones right now, but it does cost 800 bucks. So if you wanted to cut that cost in half, you could just get the SE2. Now there are some drawbacks to the SE2, which I'm gonna go over here. Also, um, as you guys are watching this, if you could smash the like button, I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, and obviously the first drawback to the SE2 is that the screen is much smaller. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know a 4.7 inch lcd display so when it comes to like watching videos playing games things like that it is uh, a little bit of a drawback but on the flip side um, it's actually a little bit easier to hold one-handed and throw in your pocket. So if you're somebody, you know, uh, wanting a smaller phone, I mean, that is kind of a benefit, right? Um, I did want to pull up uh, the cameras on both phones real quick here. I took a picture of uh, my S21 UAG case. And I just wanted to kind of show you the camera quality on both phones. Um, the SE2 by no means has a bad camera at all. You know, it's not going to be as good as the 12s, but, you know, at the same time, it's still a good camera. Um, and obviously, the next thing I want to do here is kind of go over just the, uh, you know, the gameplay on both phones because I am basically addicted to playing mobile games. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to throw up a uh, Marvel Contest of Champions on both phones. Loudness on the SE2 is also not terrible. It's not as loud as the 12, but, you know, and the other thing too, I would say the SE2, if you did buy it this year, it's going to be relevant, you know, for at least another two years from now. So, um, if you want to put off getting the 12, maybe later on you're, you're going to pick up the iPhone 13 when that comes out or something, you know, even later than that. Uh, I do like the SE2. You know, I still use the 7 and 8, believe it or not. You know, I've run the, the iOS 14 updates on those phones and they're still good phones too. You know what I mean? They're, they've definitely held up well. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, also if you have any questions about either one of these phones, feel free to message me below and I'll throw some uh, some price links as well if you guys are maybe looking to you know grab one of these ASAP. But all right, so um, let's do some gaming here, you know what I mean? So uh, we are going to get some of this Marvel Contest of Champions gameplay going. I think I'm going to do two fights on both phones just to you know show you some of the performance and obviously the display quality. Now I've got Agent Venom up here doing his thing. Didn't realize his health was a little bit low against Magneto. Magneto's a pretty cool character. Let's get that, that special move right here. Nice. I got a nice little KO. Okay, now let's bring it down to the SE2. Like I said, a little bit of a smaller screen, but like the performance on this phone is really good. It's still using the same processor as the iPhone 11. I forgot to mention that. All right, so we got uh, Wolverine and Spider-Man. I don't have like a ton of characters unlocked, unfortunately, on this phone. We're still doing our thing here. Okay, so we've got Wolverine versus Dr. Octopus. This guy's about to uh, get destroyed. I think Wolverine would always win this fight in a real life situation for sure. All right, nice. Right, let's get uh, one more fight in on both phones. I think maybe I'm going to go with uh, Captain America here. Let me see. All right, let's do this. All right, nice. 
Okay, and uh, one more fight down here on the SC2. <clears throat> I think we're gonna do a Spider-Man. I think it's gonna be a Spider-Man on Spider-Man battle. It's gonna be against the Stark Spider-Man, so let's do this. Okay, so got a little bit into the gaming right there. Couldn't help myself. But, uh, you know, I think the SE2 would be a good alternative to the 12. I mean, I love the phone personally. Plus, you get the home button on it, and it's probably going to be the last iPhone ever with the home button. And the phone will be relevant at least for the two, the next two years plus. Okay, thanks for watching this, guys. Please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.